called the Moclips and Betts Creek. The stimulus for my interest in this area of modeling was that the Northern Pacific came into Moclips in 1906, and uh, this station was built on the base of a Y. And uh, that Y uh, had at its tail a very large shingle mill uh, that happened to also be on the Moclips River. There were canneries near the station along the river, fish canneries. There was also a trestle across the Moclips to the Quinault Indian Reservation. This is all reservation on this side of the river. Some of the uh, cedar for the various shingle mills around Moclips came from the Quinault Reservation. My layout uh, models uh, the area below this red line here. In the Moclips area, I want to preserve the general feeling of these early things, although my layout is set 35 years later than, uh, than this sketch represents. The basic characteristics are it's Owen 30, freelance, but with some prototypical inspiration. It's set in 1940 on the Olympic Peninsula, modest in size, 11 by 14. Point to point, the core enterprise is a big shingle mill. Track is mostly hand laid, and the bench work is around three walls with one peninsula. The layout really consists of three scenes, one on each of the three walls. This is an overview of the, uh, the main scene because it involves a peninsula that sticks right out in the middle of the room. It has the big shingle mill, the river that winds around the uh, edge of the layout, uh, a replica of uh, the original. Northern Pacific Station in um, Moclips, canneries, and uh, then an engine service, small yard that's still underway. On the far wall from that team was, is uh, Bex Creek, which is a fictional community in the middle of the mountain wilderness in the Olympic Peninsula. It's uh, the source of cedar for the shingle mill in Moclips. Hoquiam started out in my thinking as just simply a staging yard, but begun thinking of it more of a terminal with a, in an industrial area. The town of Moclips is, actually exists. It's about 100 miles uh, west of Tacoma. Its current population is only a couple hundred. It was, however, uh, quite prosperous in the early 20th century, declined, I think, continuously ever since. This is kind of the geographic concept of my layout. Three basic communities. Moclips is the centerpiece. There's uh, a route to Hopewim, connections with the outside world, and uh, a route to some not clearly specified place in the uh, mountains called Becks Creek. This is my uh, train room. <clears throat> it is between the living spaces and the garage, so there's a pathway of fairly heavy traffic here. The layout needed to be confined to the uh, edges of the room. If you stand in the garage door and look in, you'll see something like this. And uh, if you stand in this other door and look across the room, you'll see something like this. This is the general approach I settled on for the bench work. Um, each of the three scenes on one of the three walls, Moclips with a peninsula because there's a, a Y involved in Moclips. Uh, so it naturally runs out on the peninsula, the staging yard here, and there's hidden track behind that staging yard over to the Becks Creek. This is a schematic which I have drawn to illustrate uh, or emphasize the operational possibilities. I think there's quite a lot of operating possibility here. This is the uh, detailed track plan. Uh, first, let's look at the uh, station area where the, uh, the station is backed up to uh, those uh, businesses along Pacific Avenue uh, are represented by flats along the wall. This was the uh, original Moclip station. It was opened in 1906. This is a colorized photo. It's a standard Northern Pacific third class combination depot. This is my model uh, set in 1940, reasonably maintained, but needing paint. I achieved the weathered uh, appearance of the siding by using uh, paper strips tinted with pan pastels. This is the prototype in 1906. And this is my uh, model in 1940. And these are the business areas that the station backs up to. This is uh, one photo of my mill, the log pond uh, on the Moclips River. Another view looking across the uh, 
toward the main mill, uh, stiff-legged derrick, slew engine and lift engine are all uh, modified Crow River kits. I thought since it was a shingle mill, it should have real cedar shingles. And so uh, I cut about uh, 10 or 11,000 of them from a cedar plank routes out of Moclips go quite different directions. Uh, but on my layout, they go pretty much the same direction. Uh, by putting a bluff between them and changing the uh, angle a little bit, I think I've achieved enough to satisfy me that uh, this track kind of goes a different way than this track. I'd always been an HO, and uh, about 20 years ago, Bachman had come out not too, or too much earlier with their uh, OM30 train sets. And I had a new grandson, which I used as an excuse to buy one of those train sets. And uh, it ran so smoothly and uh, looked like it would be so much easier to work with than HO that I just never really looked back. I didn't have a layout at that time. And um, so it wasn't like I was throwing away a lot of work. I did probably unload all my HO stuff at uh, ridiculously low prices, but 